I understand for those who don't have a band, who are solo artists and uh, want to perform solo, for those who are performing live on stage and for those also who are performing live online these days, uh, it can get lonely sometimes and it's always better to have a fuller sound instead of having one or two instruments and performing. And I get it, it's, uh, it's, it's a little difficult to get that sound by yourself. But you can make that happen. Uh, with these simple steps, you can create a live set of your own and you can have a much fuller sound during your live performances and you can add that value and bring out that X fact. Now, the first thing that I do is that I just create pads. Now, let's say if I am uh, a guitarist or a bassist or a pianist and I want some backing pads. So what I can do is that I can just create a MIDI region, punch in some bunch of chords. Bring up the attack. So now you have a basic pad ready. And what you can do is you can loop it as many times as you want. And this just creates a backing layer of your solo performance. Let's take an example. If you are a guitarist and uh, you want to have a pad in the background, you have a pad. You also want to have a bass. You can do a bass in which you can just add in all of these things as a bass. So now you have a bass line also ready and you can loop it as many times as you want. You can also add in ups. So you have alchemy. Now you have a basic layout of a song ready and you have pads, bass and ups. And now you can play over it. You can sing over it. You can jam over it. If you are a pianist and you want to showcase your piano talents, you can do that. Now let's say you want to switch up the tempo and the key as well. You can do that. So now let's say I have switched up the chords and from the 33rd beat, you want to change the song while you're playing live and you want to also change the tempo. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just bringing in a loop uh, of drums so that we can hear that out. What you can also do is bring this down, put an automation of the tempo over here and then bring it up to let's say 145 and uh, let's hear it. Let's hear the transition. It's going to be sounding abrupt, but There you go. That's how you can also change the tempo of the entire song while you're playing live. In addition to that, you can also mark the changes in chords so that while you're playing live, you can reference that and you can put markers of all of the chords that you want to have that uh, playing live. So you can do that and you can put in all of these markers based on the chord changes that you have. You can also export these as WAV files if your computer or if you have a static uh, desktop on your in your studio and you don't have a mobile device, you can extract these as tracks and play them as backing tracks and there are a bunch of apps out there. Uh, using Logic gives you the leeway to kind of adjust the EQ, compression and also mute few parts in live shows because live sound is totally different. So I hope you guys like this video. I you learned something out of it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and uh, I'll be happy to get back to you. And if you want to watch more such videos and tutorial videos, I have a bunch of them and there are a few coming. Definitely subscribe. They are here. You can check them out. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, cheers.